everybody welcome to my channel Jaylee Beauty my name is Jordan and today I created this look right here um, I really wanted to play with like kind of green colors and um, do like a little bit of a smoky look um, I had a lot of fun creating this look if you want to see how I did it please keep on watching um, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like I would really appreciate it so let's go ahead and get started alright guys so the first thing I'm gonna do is just do my eyebrows I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the shade dark brown and then I'm gonna clean that up and prime my eyelids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Oh, by the way guys, I have a different background because right now I'm at my parents' house for the holidays. So, if you notice that, and we're like, what the heck, that's why. All right, now I'm just gonna set my lid area with some translucent powder, and that'll just make these shadows easier to blend. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to go in with the kind of turquoisey blue shade here, and that's called Jada. And I'm gonna take that on a fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna put that in my transition area. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and take the shade Enchanted, which is this deep green color here. And I'm gonna put that in my outer corner as well as blending it a bit into the crease. And I'm just gonna take, um, like a more dense kind of blending brush for that. So now that that color is on, I'm just going to go back in with my original brush. Um, not taking any extra product, but I'm just going to go over the edges and blend those colors together. I'm just gonna take a regular shadow brush. This is the Sephora Pro Shadow. And I'm gonna go in with the color Diva, which is this really gorgeous, like, kind of greeny silver shimmer. And I'm just gonna put that on, like, the inner half of my eyelid. I think I'm gonna spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray as well, just to make it pop a bit more. So yeah, I'm just applying this on like the inner half of my lid, just meeting that dark color. You guys know I like, I really like using these like greenish kind of blue tones and like turquoise looks. Um, I don't know why, I just always find myself like wanting to create looks with them, I think cause like the colors are just like really unique and I don't know I like the way they look and I think that this is kind of it's like really pretty for like it's kind of like a Christmas vibe like the dark green and like the shimmer just gives me Christmas vibes okay so I'm gonna go back in with the um, dense blending brush and with the dark green color called Enchanted. And I'm just gonna apply that once again in the outer corner and blend that into the um, shimmer color. You guys, filming videos at my parents' house is like <laughs> so much easier because like there's no noise like my parents live in a really small town and there's just no noises whereas when I'm living in Toronto I constantly like have to pause and like wait for like the sirens to stop or like the construction noises to stop 
It's so funny here, it's just like silence. Ooh, I'm loving this look actually. It's super kind of like monochrome, but like using the same kind of colors, but I just really like it. All right, so I just kind of want to give this look like a little extra something something. So I'm going to take this heavy metal um, glitter by Urban Decay, and this is in the shade Glam Rock. It's just like a silver glitter, and I'm going to put this like over top of the shimmer that I applied. Before that dries, I'm going to take my brush and just like go over it to blend it because I kind of just want it to be like a little topper kind of vibe, not just be like a bunch of glitter. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the um, dark green color again, just to blend the edges once more between the um, shimmer and the matte. Now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna wipe off all the fallout underneath my eyes and then I'll get started on my face makeup. All right, so I'm just gonna prime my face now with my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. You guys know by how much I use this. I love this primer and it's so affordable, so I really recommend it. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever. Ultra HD foundation stick, and I am in the shade 118 or Y325. I used to love this foundation so much, but I ran out and just hadn't repurchased it. But I finally repurchased it, so I'm gonna start using it again. I'm gonna blend that in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So I'm gonna conceal with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, I'm gonna set my under eye area with my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just gonna take that on my sponge and like press it in to the concealer. Alright, now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. <coughs> I feel like I'm choking on powder. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm just going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to start by taking the um, dark green color, Enchanted, this one here. And I'm going to take that on just a small brush and put that on my inner corner and then I'm going to blend it, I mean not my inner corner, <laughs> my lower lash line. And then I'm going to blend it out with the color Jada here. Oh, she's smoky. Okay, now I'm just gonna contour with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, my go-to. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take these two shades here, mix them together, and I'm gonna use this like tapered blending brush to do my contour. Take this small, like really tiny blending brush and just contour my nose a little bit. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna take my MAC blush in the shade Dainty and I'm just gonna apply that with this like slanted 
slanted? Angled, angled, there we go. Angled, um, like, blending brush. Okay, um, highlighter time, bitches. Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna use my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. Um, is this like a Jaclyn Hill freaking tutorial or what? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this and put it on my inner corner, brow bone, nose, cupid's bow, and cheekbones. Okay, so I kind of want to make the inner corner and brow bone a little bit more icy toned. So I'm also going to take, um... Another Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Pearl, which is literally like the stark white color. I'm just going to apply that over top of Champagne Pop. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with Champagne Pop on my face because um, the Pearl shade is a little bit too light for my skin tone to be using on like my face. So... Now for the um, cheekbone and cupid's bow, I'm going to use the Morphe M510 brush with Champagne Pop. Okay, now I'm just going to apply some mascara and lashes off of camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I just popped some Storm Lashes on in the style Belize. These are so dramatic. I freaking love them. Oh my god. So now I'm just going to do my lips. I'm going to use this Maybelline matte lipstick in the shade Nude Nuance. It's number 657. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Fenty Beauty um, gloss balm on top. All right, now I'm just gonna spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Okay guys, this is the final look. Um, I know this is like really kind of bold and crazy, but I really wanted to play with like dark greens to give like kind of a Christmas holiday vibe. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. If you guys have any suggestions on what kind of videos you want me to film next, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.